Welcome back to We Play Games. I'm Walker, and here we are in Her Majesty's Government, a campaign inside of Victoria 3. And so this is partially a role-playing game, because we're going to be playing with Queen Victoria of Hanover uh, in the Industrialist Party. Right now, Robert Peel is in control of the Industrialist Party, so we've been leaning very heavily on market liberal concepts of war. And so we've been, rather than attacking people, we've been encouraging people to join our markets via obligations. Um, we've been bankrolling a whole lot of territory and, and expanding our, our market that way. But now we're about to get into a fight with the Ottoman Empire, and I think we're going to assist Egypt in this fight against the Ottoman Empire, because we'd really like to turn Egypt into a protectorate as well. The more we can grow our market just by glomming onto stuff, the better I'll feel. Ah, speaking of, we could, we could form a defensive pact with Yunnan. I wouldn't hate having southern China part of our sphere. And so we may end up going to war with Great Qing to force them to release more stuff. Um, so that way there's more stuff to slap into our market. But we'll save that for later. Ah, and of course we have breech-loading artillery right on time. And Uruguay and Siam are protectorates. But now with shrapnel artillery online, our troops are going to fight at a much, much higher strength level than a lot of our enemies. Ah, good, we got a, a mass migration triggered here. But ma a mass migration is going to be really effective for us, because we aren't coring a bunch of the Empire. We're going to be coring, of course, anything that's acceptable to core. Um, but we are also not going to be annexing our subjects unless they have rebellions. That's partially because I think it's, it's more flavorful, but also because it, it, we just, we don't want to manage the entire world. We want to manage our market. Ooh, speaking of managing our market, it looks like the EIC has had the rebellion here. So they are going to win, um, but because they had weakened by mutiny, we should do pretty well here. Yep, going to get the British Raj. Awesome. Hanover, we have a defensive pact. How are you going to be cautious towards me, friend? And the Mopuche have risen up against us? All right. But once we're done putting down all of these colonial rebellions, we will annex the Ionian Islands, because they have had a rebellion, and they are a puppet. So we're, we're going to absorb more islands in the Mediterranean, just as, as basing locations, that's all. Well, thank goodness we got that influx of Mashriki Pops here, because we really desperately need them. We've got lots of migration attraction here in the home islands, but we are still fighting against the fact that we have colonial resettlement on the books. Uh, and of course we have laissez-faire on the books, which means anytime we try to build any sort of large agricultural development, it's going to really hit our credit, which is why I'm okay running like a positive balance from time to time here, because we really do need the, uh, the money, need the flexibility to, to survive when we need to go on debt. Oh, and just like that, we've annexed Mapuche, and now we have a, an obligation on Honduras. We can turn Honduras into a protectorate. Good. Oh, Yunnan will join our customs union if we just offer them an obligation. Fine by me. Especially because that's going to add a lot of opium to our market. Really useful. Yunnan wishes to enter into an alliance, but that's okay. Wait, what is going on over here? Oh, it looks like the a Swedish uprising is trying to break away from the Grand Duchy of Finland and move over to Sweden? Well, you know, good luck. Swedish uprising. We have we have more important fish to fry. Ah, uh, revolutionary Brazil has has broken out here, so that's too bad for Brazil. Right now they are a protectorate, but w they're going to be reduced to a puppet after this. Well, Austria has sided with the Ionian Islands here. We'll we'll see if if that turns out to be true. Austria. We'll go ahead and just mobilize all of our generals. Yeah, Ionian Islands back down. There we go. And we got ironclads right on time with our war with revolutionary Brazil here. They're a republic. That's what they're that's what they're fighting over. They're trying to overthrow Pedro, but we've picked up steamships, so let's go ahead and use them. And of course, now that we have just way way more convoys because we just dramatically increased the efficiency of our ports, we're going to go ahead and see if there's any other trading that we can do. Oh, and a united tribal revolt has broken out too. Well, if we got to go around uh annexing territories to to protect them, we will. Oh, Venezuela wishes to join our customs union. Oh, does that mean that it's time to get Egypt? Yeah, Egypt joined our customs union. Oh, Persia will join our customs union too. And we can make Venezuela into a protectorate by just offering them an obligation. Oh, there's a war going on. All right, so we've got Prussia versus Austria, and France is helping Prussia against Baden too? I don't know. I, I don't think I'm interested in an obligation with Baden. 
we, this is this is an opportunity for us to to be the peacekeepers in the world, right? We're we're just we're just being peacekeepers here. We're not we're not doing anything too inappropriate. Ooh, Russia sided with Prussia. Oh, they abandoned their support for Prussia. So we have Bavaria, Austria, and Baden versus Prussia and France. Ooh, and now Russia has sided with Baden. Oh, I imagine Prussia is trying to to help us subjugate Bavaria. Subjugate Bavaria. Hmm. Hmm. There's no there's no market access there, so I don't really want Bavaria, but that is a it's a promising offer that you've given us there, Prussia. I I wish you all the best of luck. But we're actually going to take make use of this. Hopefully if this fight does break out, we're going to have an opportunity to jump jump in on Qing cuz I would like to to force them to release Mongolia at a minimum. I'm also kind of surprised that they haven't had a, a Heavenly Kingdom outbreak. It looks like things are not going particularly well inside of Great Qing, but they they have managed to be stable enough to not have Heavenly Kingdoms break out. Yeah, we'll declare neutrality in this war in southern Germany, but I think we'll pick up electrical generation. I think that's going to be the way forward for us. Always be automating. After electrical generation, we'll probably want to pick up pump jacks just so we can run automatic irrigation on everything. Automatic irrigation is pretty big upgrade, actually. Dutch war reparations. I, yeah, don't really care about that either. Yeah, you know, we'll, we'll wait for, oh, there it is. The war has broken out. So let's go ahead and jump in. I think we're going to start it by just doing liberate subject on Joseon. And we're going to add war, rep war reparations from Qing. And we'll also liberate country. We'll liberate Mongolia. And now we see if anybody comes out of the uh, the woodwork to protect Qing, because if they don't, this is going to go really badly for them. And their great protector is Russia, and Russia, of course, is involved in this war over there. Ooh, Russia did side with Great Qing. Well, that's that's very ambitious of you, Russia, especially considering that you're already involved in a war over here. This is going to go pretty badly for them. So I'm going to use this as the opportunity, I think, to go ahead and just conquer Russian Sakhalin. I don't I don't feel bad about that. No, we don't. We don't take things. We're we're cleaning up the borders here. That's all we're doing. I think I think cleaning up that border in particular is flavorful exclusively because it's so gross. If it was north south, then we might endure it. But it's like Russia is just blobbed in the middle here. Ugh. Whoa, this war is really getting hot over here. We'll see how this turns out. It looks like there's going to just be a lot of casualties on both sides, which is sort of like perfect for us. Um, because we're you know we're we're just. We're just chilling. We're just doing good customs union stuff. Oh, we could use this as an opportunity to liberate Poland or Crimea if we wanted to naval invade Ingria. I wouldn't hate doing that. I would not hate doing that. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna add we're gonna add liberate Poland to our, our war goals here. So we're gonna I think our plan is gonna be to knock China out of the war using our superior technology and then uh, naval invade St. Petersburg. To force them to release Poland. I think it'll work pretty well. We're going to be convoy raiding in the Baltic Sea, which is going to crush Russian resistance, I hope. Hee he has launched an uprising against us, not on my watch. And here Her Majesty's government is fighting a, a two-pronged war here with Russia and Qing, but Russia is of course also fighting a war against Prussia and France. So we're gonna we're gonna benefit, I think, pretty significantly here. Yeah, sure, we'll just advance, whatever. If there's nobody blocking us from a, from marching through Russia, through, through Alaska, we will. And now we just need to capitulate Great Qing. We could capitulate them a lot faster via naval invasions along their coast. That's that's worth considering. Yeah. You know what? We will we will do exactly that. The Pilate Party won a stunning victory there. Prussia and Austria left their their war, leaving France and Russia fighting against each other. For what are they fighting about? Prussian war reparations and Pomerania treaty port. Nothing. It looks like they're fighting over nothing. Good. With electrical generation online, we are going to have a lot more a lot more automation available to us, but we do need to get electrical generation on. Whoa. Whoa. It looks like Ching has just completely abandoned the front, which works for me, I guess. Ah, Mexico is willing to accept an alliance here, and now they will join our customs union. Beautiful. Uh, the French are not respecting the same sort of rules that we got. So we're not colonizing into areas that have severe malaria until we hit malaria prevention. Um, but we might pick up malaria prevention after shift work. I wouldn't hate doing that. So it looks like we have indeed defeated Qing. And now the Great Mongolian State is out here. And they'll accept a defensive pact. We'll start bankrolling them. France, get out of here. Get, get your 
get your stupid colonies and get out. Of course, our, our ironclads are just smashing the Russian fleet. I think we're going to deposit some some marines right here. And it looks like indeed our marines are going to land. Ah, and Burma is willing to join our customs union. Good. Russian war reparations and liberate Poland. That, that'll that be pretty useful. Ooh, looks like Russia got a treaty port here? Oh, Prussia. You failed in your war, didn't you? Yeah, you did. Her Majesty's government briefly considered intervening against the French here, just because, you know, it's always fun to intervene against the French. But we don't really get anything out of this, other than the opportunity to maybe take war reps here. I don't think that's worth it, considering the size of their GDP. I'd much rather just be building stuff. After all, Her Majesty's government is, is ultimately most concerned with the welfare of her own. And we've defeated Russia. Hey, look! Poland. The Pele Party is now under the control of a, a jingoist character. That would actually be really useful for us, because now we could switch into colonial exploitation out of colonial resettlement. And right now, one of the problems that we're suffering is that a lot of our migration is going to our, our colonies. And that's due in part to the fact that they have a massive migration bonus. Colonial resettlement is plus 100%. And so we want to we wanna get out of that. Hamburg wishes to enter into a defensive pact with us. I mean, I imagine they do. Are you interested in becoming a... No, they still have defend the borders. Ooh, yeah. Plus 25% migration attraction. Let's do it. Ah, oh, good. We got colonial exploitation. So this is going to mean lower subsistence output um, in our colonies, but it's also going to mean lower migration attraction in our colonies, which is hopefully going to encourage more people to, to move back home. Because we are not going to be coring, like, everything in the empire. We're just going to be coring the things that I think makes sense. Ah, and Polynesian people are moving to the lowlands. Good. The more mass migrations we can get, the better. China is down to 316 million pops, 196 million GDP, but it has not yet exploded. Well, we'll just keep having to go back and, and bite off more chunks. Turkmen people are, are migrating to Midlands. All right, cool. We're the target of a mass migration of Finns to the home counties. Awesome. That's going to be so good. Because again, we're, we're not really conquering territory. And so what we're trying to do is we're just trying to maximize the amount of migration that we have going on. And West Country is going to be absorbing a lot of migration too, because it's adjacent to two mass migrations. And we finally have pump jacks online, so now we can slap automatic irrigation on everything. This is going to be awesome. I'm not sure exactly how one does automatic irrigation on silk plantations, but I'm not going to complain. Good, we're just going to keep keep the Chartist party down. If we can keep the part the uh, Pelite party in control, then that will reflect Her Majesty's wish. It's unfortunate that we can't have these two jingoist intelligentsia characters, all everybody working together. But if we bring the uh, the Chartist party in, yeah, zero legitimacy. Oh well. So though people have begun migrating to Yorkshire, good. So we're going to have an incredibly complicated mix here, but I think it's going to be worth it. Seek is offering us a, an obligation, and Burma is going to become a protectorate. Good. Revolutionary Belgium. Ooh, all right. Well, we're going we're gonna to use that as an opportunity to reduce Belgium to a puppet. And we're up to 92 legitimacy here. Awesome. Home counties is up to 6.3 million and climbing, with a large contingent of Albanian and Finnish people and a small group of Mashriki here as well. Oh, man. Electric capacitors is going to completely explode our economy. Awesome. And Bulgarian people are moving to home counties. Whoa. Yeah, 800,000. Sweet. But you know, I think I think it's time that we make good use of the fact that we're jingoist here. Let's let's start fighting some people. Let's open market here on, on Sokoto. So we're just going to look around the map for anybody who's big and in isolationism and just forcing them to open market. Because it really is going to be great for us whenever we can do trade with everybody. Because we still have a reasonable number of convoys that aren't really doing anything productive yet. But we're mostly maxed out on trade. France sided with Sokoto. All right, France. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna actually pause us here for episode three of Her Majesty's government. Um, we have now a fight potentially brewing between us and Sokoto and maybe France. If Sokoto ends up backing down, of course, then like we this is sort of a, a nothing. But in the event that Fr that Sokoto doesn't back down, we'll have a fight with France. And so my question to you guys at home is: Should we go ahead and use conquer states and clean up some of these? colonial borders, or do you think that would be against the wishes of Her Majesty's government? Personally, I think that it would make sense for Queen Victoria here, especially because France is our number five great power. Whoa, number five great power? Who's number two? Prussia. All right, cool. Well, we're friends with Prussia, but 
um, France has been an antagonist of ours for a very long time, and so I don't feel particularly bad taking any of these possessions out here, but we did say at the beginning of the game that we're not going to do Conqueror State. So, I don't know, it, it's sort of up to you guys, whatever you think would be, would be best. But we've grown our economy, we are bringing in lots of migrants, and, and uh, the UK is getting pretty big. We've now finally surpassed Russia in terms of population. And that's without, like, really blobbing all over the map. We have some of Patagonia that we've colonized. We've grown our market, but we've also been betrayed in turn, because I definitely, we're going to absolutely fight America to get Mexico back into our market. And similarly, we're going to fight Russia to get Japan back into our market, because they stole both of those guys using obligations on our customs union, which is not acceptable. But yeah, tune in for the uh, the next episode of Her Majesty's Government. That's Walker. Take care.